a ball of mass 50 gram is thrown vertically upwards with an initial velocity of 20 meter per second calculate the initial kinetic energy imparted to the ball next the maximum height reach if air friction is neglected third we have to calculate the maximum height reach if 40% of the initial energy is lost against the friction take g value as 10 meter per second square now carefully see the question a ball of mass 50 g a ball having mass 50 g is thrown vertically upward with an initial velocity of 20 meter per second we have to calculate the initial kinetic energy imparted to the ball so initial kinetic energy we have half mv square but here v is actually a initial velocity which is u square which is given as 20 Now mass is given in gram, so let's convert it into SI unit, which is kilogram. So divide it by thousand. We got mass as one by twenty kilogram. So mass value I got in kilogram as one by twenty kilogram. Now let's calculate the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy we have initial kinetic energy half. Mass value is given as one by twenty. and velocity square velocity how much 20 square so 20 square so just write it as 20 into 20 so here 20 and 20 cancel out 2 with 10 20 that is 10 joule it means that the initial kinetic energy imparted to the ball we have 10 joule now we have to see the maximum height reach if air friction is neglected it means that when you give the velocity to the ball the ball starts moving in the upward direction and attain some height so before coming to rest it attain some height so we have to calculate the maximum height when air friction is zero or air friction is neglected it means that due to the conservation of energy the whole kinetic energy which is given at the starting point is converted into a potential energy so potential energy and kinetic energy both are equal according to the conservation of energy so potential energy formula is mgh and kinetic energy we have already calculated at this point in the previous part that is 10 joule okay kinetic energy we have 10 joule mass we have calculated in kilogram 1 by 20 kilogram g value is 10 and h we have to calculate so from here h value we got it as 20 meter it means that the maximum height reach when air friction is neglected or air friction is not there then maximum height reach is 20 meter next we have the maximum height reach if 40% of the initial energy is lost against the air friction what is the meaning of this carefully see for example we have given some energy so some energy is lost in the air friction how much this energy this energy is 40% means 40% of the initial kinetic energy is lost in the air friction so 40% means 40 into 1 by 100 of multiply kinetic energy how much initial kinetic energy we have we have calculated 10 joule so from here we got 4 joule energy is lost if four joule energy is lost in the air friction how much left so left energy we have initial kinetic energy minus lost part initial kinetic energy we have 10 joule and how much lost four joule is lost it means how much energy is left still left so kinetic energy left after the lost part is 6 joule it means that this new kinetic energy now converted into potential energy to reach some height okay so this new kinetic energy is converted into potential energy how much is new kinetic energy 6 potential energy new we have mgh mass value we have 6 oh sorry mass value we have 1 by 20 g value we have 10 and h we have to calculate so from here we got h as 12 meter it means that the maximum height reach if 40% of the initial energy is lost against the air friction that is 12 meter clear